Hello everyone, this is Transformers Fanco328 here. And I just like to talk about something that has grown quite a bit. The project of Transformers Revenge of the Fall and the Real Revenge. Now, the last time I did so, I asked for auditions and uh, there were very, very few of them. There was only really one that was done. And everyone else that said that they would audition, they haven't uploaded theirs yet. I did say they could take their time because I wasn't really working on the project yet. I hadn't written out the script, and at this point I haven't fully written out the plot anymore. Primarily because of some changes. When I take some things into consideration like Batman Arkham City and the My Little Pony characters, when I realize it, they don't fit too well. Especially with what I'm trying to do. And it was primarily, the reason why they were in the plot was because Dredd wanted to incorporate his side of the plot, and when I take this into consideration, it's not my fan movie anymore. It isn't really. When you take it into consideration, I'm the one who's doing everything. I should be the one writing out the entire story. But then again, eh. So I decided to axe the Batman and the Ponies part of the story, leaving it with only the Transformers, and the only real crossover you're going to have is the Makuta over here, and a, and a storyline involving Portal, and you'll know what I mean. Basically, it's just Transformers all the way through other than what I've mentioned. <clears throat> so the casting list has now been changed quite a bit. Now it's been insanely condensed. Like before there were like 27 like different characters that you guys had to audition for, and none of them aside from the Transformers characters really had a purpose other than just to, you know, be there. Basically, the villains cast list has been brought down to the movie Megatron, The Fallen, Starscream, movie Starscream or whomever else, movie Soundwave, animated Soundwave, War for Cybertron Soundwave, Cyberverse Shockwave, Voyager Shockwave, Dead End, Thundercracker, Barricade, Crankcase, Sideways, Hailstorm, Laserbeak, Ravage, Devastator, Long Haul, Makuta, Scourge, and Unicron. His purpose is to be revealed at the end of the plot. <clears throat> and the Heroes cast has been significantly downplayed, only down to Optimus Prime, Bumblebee, Ironhide, Ratchet, Hot Rod slash Rodimus Prime, Offshoot, or Firebolt, whatever you want to call him, Cup, Jolt, Wheeljack, Sideswipe, Warpath, Sentinel Prime, and Jetfire. Out of all of these characters, there's Animated Soundwave, War for Cybertron Soundwave, Thundercracker, Barricade, Crankcase, Sideways, Laserbeak, Devastator, Long Haul, Ratchet, Jolt, Sideswipe, Warpath, and Jetfire are the only ones that don't have any voices yet. So. Yeah, that's pretty much where the auditions have been condensed quite a bit. This is probably going to result in even less people auditioning, but I figured I'd balance shit out a bit. Anyway, this is Transformers Fan Code 328. I'm done. I'll see you next time, and hopefully this film won't be as convoluted and as pointless as it may have been before.